DNB radiology or MD radiology? This is definitely a tough question that needs to be answered by students who decide to take up radiology as their career. So coming to that question, the question is moot because the difference ceases to exist anymore. MD and DNB in radiology, as, as far as radiology is concerned, is the same. However, the pertinent question needs to be where you do your MD or DNB from because radiology, unlike other branches, is very technology and modality heavy and it depends upon the institute in which you're doing this from because it depends upon the machinery and the protocols that are followed in the system. So a radiology resident is only as good as the institute is. So one really needs to look in great depth and inquire as to what really goes on at the ground because what may seem from afar may not be the case at many government institutes and private hospitals. So this is thus our humble attempt of trying to offer more clarity as to what goes on at the radiology department at Hinduja Hospital. The hospital is a 400 bed uh, multi-speciality tertiary care center at Mahim, Mumbai, which was established in 1951. And the radiology department here consists of X-ray, ultrasound, mammography, CT and MRI with three consultants in ultrasound, two in mammography, four permanent consultants in CT and three part-time consultants there. Uh, we have four ultrasound machines, state-of-the-art machines from Philips and uh, Samsung. Uh, we have a 1.5 Tesla and a 3 Tesla MRI machine and a 512 slice CT machine and two additional standby CT machines that ensure uh, seamless and continuous working throughout the year. As far as the radiology program at Hinduja is concerned, it simply put is a good amalgamation of quantity and quality with uh, Hinduja Hospital being a charitable one, uh, seeing significant footfall during the day as well as on uh, emergency calls and with the many significant and famous consultants that we have throughout various specialties, we see a number of patients being drawn in from all over the country and the world. Coming to the schedule and the postings of the residency program here, the three years are appropriately divided amongst X-ray, ultrasound, CT and MRI with approximately eight months at X-ray, 12 months at ultrasound, eight months at CT and eight months at MRI with the first year predominantly being involved with x-rays and ultrasound. So the first half of the day is spent at x-ray reporting, followed by which the resident resumes their duties at ultrasound. So this goes on for a few months after which the resident is also posted at CT within the first year itself so that they can begin to report basic scans and eventually move on to tougher ones within the first year itself and are able to report contrast enhanced scans as well so that they're able to cover almost any and all scans that may arrive at an emergency call basis. The focus shifts from ultrasound and x-rays in the first year towards cross-sectional in the second and third year with the residents spending a majority of the time at CT and MRI with interspersed postings of x-ray and ultrasound as well so that one remains in touch. About consultants, uh, starting from ultrasound, we have three consultants in ultrasound which are very compassionate and always willing to share as much knowledge as possible. And uh, there is plenty of hands-on experience starting from basic ultrasounds to Dopplers to complex scans including musculoskeletals. And Hinduja, in, in, in addition, Hinduja provides an opportunity to learn all the diagnostic and basic therapeutic uh, procedures like FNACs, true cut biopsies, prostate guide, trust biopsies, aspirations and several more. And thanks to these amazing consultants, we get Within the first year itself, a resident confidently begins to perform this procedure independently as there is no lack of biopsies ever. In cross-sectional, we have five consultants who are pioneers in their field and they have uh, they are always approachable and always willing to share knowledge as much as possible. And unlike other colleges and institutions, our consultants are always in touch with us and always monitor our progress. Together, they provide expertise over all, all disciplines including uh, neuroradiology, thoracic, GIT, GUT, cardiac, breast and MSK. 
So as far as the variety and the number of cases are concerned, one can be assured to be exposed to not just the basic cases but also the complex and the rare cases that one only happens to find in the textbooks. In CT approximately 45 to 50 cases take place in a day, in MR around 30 to 35 and in ultrasound up to 60-65 cases. Despite Hinduja being a private hospital, thanks to the lovely consultants we have that we get to do almost all kinds of procedures here. In ultrasound itself, by the end of three years, a resident becomes proficient in almost all kinds of ultrasound guided procedures like truss guided prostate biopsies, true cut biopsies, FNSCs, ascitic and pleural tapping. In CT, a lot of biopsies take place here wherein a resident has to wash up with the consultant and help them in the planning and the preparation of the procedure, thereby offering a great learning experience there as well. For the hands-on, so you have to report here. The consultant won't touch the scan without you reporting it first. Then on ultrasound, you have to, again you have to do all the scans yourselves, and only then will the consultant review your scan. Here, the best thing is all your cons scans are reviewed by the consultants themselves. Unlike in government colleges, where your scans are reviewed by your one-year senior, like which has only one year more experience than you. So next about the night calls, so here on calls you have to be equipped to manage ultrasound, CT scans and MRI, all of them together. So like in every hospital and medical college, the number of calls gradually decrease from first year to your third year and obviously the working hours also gradually decrease from your first year to third year. In first year you might have a lot of calls. But then uh, trust us when when you meet all of us, it will be worth it because you'll be very quick and efficient in reporting at the end of it. Secondly, the academic program. So we have two internal meets happening on every Tuesday and Thursdays where we discuss all the interesting cases of the week. All the consultants come together and then they tell you about uh, the fine points of each of these cases. Then you, we also have a neuro meet where all the neurologists, all the neurosurgeons and the radiologists sit together to discuss the interesting cases of the week. Then we also have the GI meet where all the gastro surgeons and all the gastroenterologists, they again sit together with the radiologists to discuss all the interesting cases. So that way academic program here is really good. We don't have boring uh, theory lectures but whatever happens is really beneficial. About obstetrics and fetal imaging, this is the one field where Hinduja lacks for all its perfection. There is a one flaw, which however in the grand scheme of things, it's a minor inconvenience that is the hospital doesn't host obstetric department. So we don't get obstetric, dedicated obstetric and fetal imaging scans. Uh, what all we get is uh, the staff obstetrics and fetal imaging scans, which are very scarce. Uh, but However, this can easily be picked up after residency within few months, unlike cross-sectional imaging which, which take months to years to master. So once again an omission of obstetrics can be compensated for in, in a few months. However, an omission in cross-sectional imaging can take several months to years to compensate for. So please take uh, the decisions very very wisely. So the last question about intervention radiology, so our department obviously boasts a state of art uh, interventional radiology department where you have all the vascular intervention, neuro intervention and general uh, intervention uh, procedures and there are a lot of procedures happening all throughout the day from the most common ones to the most rare ones. You can ask for a separate uh, interventional radiology posting and you can assist in like many of these procedures and you also get to see a lot of procedures. See, the IR is a super speciality branch so you won't get hands-on, complete hands-on anywhere in the country. But you do get to assist and see the most interesting cases that keep happening here. The most important thing any resident wants to know is about the toxicity in the department. As such here, there is no toxicity. There is a sense of harmony within the department where as long as the work is done, everyone is happy. However, this lack of toxicity should not be mistaken as freedom to do as one pleases as there are certain expectations that are to be met and a resident is required to do their duties efficiently. 
So DNB provides 30 paid leaves a year and taking leaves here as such is not very problematic as the department is very understanding and accommodating of the president's personal needs. However, given the hectic and the demanding schedule, as a first year resident, one is realistically able to avail approximately 10 to 15 days of leaves, not including Sundays and public holidays. So about stipend, GR1 gets around 89,000, GR2 gets around 90,000 and GR3 gets around 91,000 which is among one of the highest in the countries right now and thanks to the hospital provided accommodation facility and barely any daily expenses, majority of it can be saved despite being in the costliest city of India. About accommodation facility, the hospital provides uh, accommodation in the rented apartments they have rented in the vicinity of the hospital within 1 km of radius. and. Personally speaking, these apartments are good furnished with all the necessities including furnitures and cupboards and other appliances such as aquaguards, refrigerator and a functional kitchen. Uh, no additional amount is to be paid. This is included in the DNB fees itself that is 25,000 per annum. No additional electricity or water bill or something that sort is to be paid. And if you want an air conditioner in the room, additional 800 rupees per month is uh, something you have to pay for. Apart from that, everything is provided by the hospital and uh, personally speaking, uh, very few places in the country provide such good accommodation with amenities.